Hey everybody and welcome back to the Acne channel. Today we're going to be talking about isotretinoin, also known as Accutane and Roaccutane. Roaccutane is a form of vitamin A and it's a drug that you take to reduce your acne. It basically helps to reduce the number of oil glands in the skin and helps to renew your skin faster. So isotretinoin or Accutane is usually used as a last resort so doctors generally prescribe Roaccutane to patients that have tried most other options and topical creams. Usually people take Accutane for about six to nine months depending on the severity of their acne and also depending on the dosage. Usually you start on a lower dose and work your way up as your skin gets used to it and this dosage is calculated through your body weight and fat percentage. Like most drugs there are a lot of side effects to Accutane such as dry lips, dry skin, rashes, bumps, eczema, nosebleeds, blurred vision and there are a lot of other side effects. Some are more serious than others and some people don't get all of the side effects, some people get some. I personally experienced nosebleeds, dryness, rashes, slightly blurred vision and joint pain. So these are very common side effects with Accutane. Some other more detrimental and serious side effects that people may encounter are mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, very extreme mood swings. So it's very important that if you're taking Accutane, you keep your friends and family updated on your situation and how you're feeling and always let your doctor know if you find that it's too much and too much of a strain on your mental health. Now the very common side effects like dry skin, dry lips are easily combated by regular use of lip balms and moisturising creams. So one lip balm that I used a lot was the Aquaphor balm and you can actually use this on your skin as well to help with really really irritated skin and dry flaky patches. For the joint pain if you do experience it and the headaches you may be able to just take painkillers to help combat these issues. Another thing to be aware of when you're on Accutane is that because it's a form of vitamin A, your skin is even more sensitive to the sun, which means that it's really, really important to wear sunscreen every single day. I wore SPF 50 just to be safe, as this will protect you from the UV rays and stop you from getting sun damage. This should even be used on cloudy days. So there's also something you may experience called purging, and this is when the skin gets worse before it gets better. The purging is a lot to deal with because you're taking this drug that's making your skin very dry and it's a very serious drug that has a lot of side effects. And when I saw my skin getting worse, I kind of felt a bit defeated. But realistically, this is so normal and your skin is just trying to renew itself and help clear that acne. By the time I was on month six of Accutane, my skin was completely clear and I was only left with a few acne scars. After you finish your Accutane treatment, you're recommended not to use any strong ingredients for six months following. And these are things such as AHAs and BHAs, which are ingredients found in skincare, which penetrate below the skin to reduce the appearance of acne scars. It's also important to note that if you are a woman, you need to be very careful about using contraception because if there is a chance of pregnancy whilst you're on the drug it could have a very serious side effect to your body. Personally I'm glad I went on Accutane as it did clear my acne completely but I think it is a last resort and you should always try every topical cream and solution you can before you decide to go on Accutane. I also think it's really important to do your own research into the drug and find out if it's right for you. I hope this was a helpful video on Accutane and always remember to do your own research on Accutane and make sure that you're making the right decision. <laughs>